All right, here we are. The final stage of the quarterfinals for Gregory. The I was going to say Gregory the Eighth, but Gregory the Seventh, where we have Cavallino versus Rune the Eternal. Uh, Cavallino, super strong player, undefeated. But Rune the Eternal being the more experienced player. So it's going to be interesting to watch. But Cavallino is, is like every time I've watched Cavallino, has just been solid, strong undefeated and well who knows what will happen you know it's it's now the quarterfinals people are gonna be nervous and all right let's go game number one what we have cavallino versus room in the final quarterfinal on pants where room is playing as the Khmer and cavallino is the mighty strong byzantines um let me just change the colors. Oh. Where can we go? Right, red. There we go. Blue for room, red for Cavallino. Actually, sorry guys. Cavallino is blue. Red for room, because you know, that's, that, that rhymes. Red for room, blue for Cavallino. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm really nervous for this. As I said, I just love the Gregory people. They're all awesome. In fact, everyone is, but you know. Gregory is just like the first group I, I finished to... I fully finished every single game, so... <laughs> I'm going to continue that onwards. But, uh... Yeah, like, Cavallino is, uh... Cavallino is, is undefeated and, and a very scary player to watch. Yes, yeah, so the Byzantines are very strong on the water, faster fire ships. Um, you, it'll be interesting to see if Rune tries to fight for the water, because at this it's, at this elo range, it's kind of like some don't, and like if one person gets this eighteen hundred food, so important. So, hmm. so Rune was in a group which was uh, in. Toasty and the great RDBB and Jag Warrior. And Rune could only progress to the quarterfinals if Toasty lost 2 0 to Jag Warrior. You know, all the games are played, so it was kind of like. It was looking really bleak for Rune. It was looking like Toasty was going to go through. And in the game, I highly recommend watching. Jag Warrior versus Toasty. It's an incredible game. Because it looked like it was going to be one all. And somehow, Jag Warrior just made it 2 0. And that means Toasty was knocked out. And now Rune is here instead. So, again, it's going to be really difficult for Toasty, knowing so close so far. But that's the nature of like knockout group stages and stuff, you know, you just never know who's gonna... Each round is so very important. Now this is good, Rune is actually... Is getting through, yeah, that's right, it was a, it was a super close... It was a super close... Super... <laughs> the super close group. It was all so close, right? Yeah, exactly, it's just so close. Salve. There's no duck from Cavallino. He don't care. By the way, if anybody ever wants to jump into Codecast, you know, by all means. <laughs> no pressure though, also. But, um... Oh no, here we go. This is gonna be the duck, right? 
Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm too distracted right now. I, I must be here. Um, I... Okay. Shit. But uh, yeah, I, I gotta go later. Uh, maybe in like an hour. I don't know how long these games are. But have right. an hour or so. Great. Awesome. CD. Same. Uh, I don't know if it's me or not. The game just looks a bit jumpy. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my eyes. It does. Um, a little bit, right? Is, is there... Know. Is there a reason for that, or is it just maybe I need to reboot my game? Uh, it might not be you. Maybe the game. I don't know if they were lagging at all, but I think if it lags, like from the game, I get the lag carries over. Or it might be you. I'm not sure. But okay. It looks it looks rather decent, you know. Oh yeah, I mean, it's the, still the watchable. Just got a little. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah. It's kind of like you. Yeah. Honestly. I don't really know about this right now. Why are we walling the stone in? Wait, what's going on? Okay, so what I'm assuming... The dock did come down, though, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm assuming um, Cavalino is trying to do here is go fast castle. Maybe. Let's see. He's got 9, 12, 13. No, he's going to go full water contest. 13 okay. on wood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's mo most likely full water contest, which is tough against the Byzantines, right? Mm -hmm. Or he is the Byzantines, I'm sorry. So, this is actually going to be tough for Rune. What I would like Rune to do is go fast castle. Alright. And, um... and of course, they, get, they, they must please me, so whatever I say... <laughs> ...must be done. I'm joking. I'm sorry. <laughs> the delivery was not good. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp boo! No, it is... Um... Yeah. Oh, this, yeah, this is really awkward here. Just <laughs> yeah, it's admits I'm playing the winner against uh, of of what ruins this for Maestro. He's got to change his name. He, he cannot be both. Yeah, yeah. Timmits, Maestro, Maestro, Timmits. I think he likes the yeah. Maestro because people are going Maestro, Maestro, my. Well, I've been going Maestro as well. Hmm. <laughs> I, I'm, are you okay if I just quickly mute my mic just so I can finish eating? Because I'm so hungry. No, no, no. How, how dare you? How dare you? No, of course, of course. Don't worry, I, I'll cover it. Um, whenever you're back, you just let me know. I can uh, I can go ahead and cover what, what I think they're doing. All right, so looks like we're going to get a Vil pick here from Rune. This is a nice pick, actually. Uh, because I don't think he, I don't think this. Oh, this vill might get saved actually. But I think if he commits here, he will get this. Oh, I would have committed personally, but I guess I guess I'll uh, I'll have to show that next week. Now, we've got a lot going on here on the other side. Maybe a little bit of revenge. And if we look, both players are not really fully committed on the water here. The thing is, if you're gonna go that much on wood. I guess they didn't go that much on wood, right? But right now, Ruin has to kill this this fish. Like, if Ruin could kill the fish right now, he's housed. Bad. Oh, it's bad. Oh, there it is. Okay. If Ruin kills the fish right now, it'll be in a really good spot. I mean, you you want to you wanna get an advantage against the Byzantines. The Byzantines have faster fires, right? So, right here, this is going to be huge. If you can just get the fish out, it's going to be a really big advantage. And there we go. Now, I still want to see more fires. Yeah, there's another fire that's in queue right now. And yeah, it looks like Rune is actually... We have a transport? We have a transport in queue. Oh, wow. This is going to be interesting. See, so many people getting wheelbarrow immediately in feudal. It's not a bad thing. I think what it is is like... Uh, they don't have a set time to get wheelbarrow, right? If you don't have a set time to get wheelbarrow, you just get it early because you know it's gonna, it's not going to hurt you, right? Um, Overcommitment from Ruin here. Yeah, I mean, you, if you don't see any fires, you don't want to like invest further into the into the fires, right? But overall, looks pretty solid. The res collected looks looks pretty much even, but I like Ruin's balance a little bit more. You might get to castle first here. All right, I'm back. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sweet. I was just watching that then. I hope you... Yeah. 
That's good. That's good. Yeah. So it looks like the transport was a little bit of a misclick. Mm -hmm. I was sad because I, I, I thought we were going to see some really interesting play here. Mm. But um, it looks like Rune. The only thing. The only thing right now. The only criticism I have of Rune is that idle TC time. It's a minute higher, so he's naturally two villagers behind. But other than that, I mean, this is looking. Stone walls is interesting. That is an interesting decision. Uh, um, another problem with Rune in his games. This is, a, this is a common problem. It happened every single game, or most of the games. He, he just didn't go past 36 villagers. Didn't. It, it just refused. And um, mm. we kind of had words with him saying, do it, do it, go past. And he did get better. He went to 39. <laughs> and then he stopped oh, again. Uh, <laughs> we did say about these walls, how it kind of feels better just to wall up to the, the side here. And this is kind of like, you know, you've got stone walls and stuff, but... Yeah. It's still kind of open. I prefer this wall in the system here for this map. So. Mm -hmm. Now, I think I'm with you here. What I'd really like to see from both players is market play because they're really high on gold. And I think this is this is a common thing that I've been noticing. I, I mean, I've done it in some of my games too. It's just like, why go on gold as uh, Kevlino is dropping a market in the back there? Uh, but why go on gold if you're not going to use the no. time management stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. It's not easy to do. Like, it's definitely something to think about. And like right now, like it's interesting. Like Rune is making like spears, but like why? You know? Yeah. Like, like why are we why are we killing spears right now? So that's the only thing. But what I do like is that is like more fish. Like that's really good. Yeah. Like that's really solid. And we're patrolling some fires to make sure that the opponent doesn't get back on water. Like. Yeah, that's really solid. But again, the market came down earlier for Cavalino. That's why he's up to the Castle Age, right? Um, mm -hmm. hmm. So look, a little bit of a predicament. Now, what do you think? I, I always this this always confuses me or uh, like interests me a lot. But like, Byzantines are seen as a counter safe, right? They mm -hmm. they counter everything in the in 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 the game basically. So like, what do you make when you're on the front foot? You know? Yeah. Just kind of like. And then Bergman says Rune is open, and that's true. If you see, if you zoom in on that dock right yeah, there, like Rune's it. dock, no yeah, it's Tanya. literally just open. The way I think the only way to avoid that is you see how the, like a little part of the land comes out. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to make your dock there. there I think right that's here. the only way to avoid oh, that. Yeah. 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 I think I think Rune sees that too, and they're gonna try to wall around. Yeah, they're trying to wall around here. Yeah, Whoa, look at all the houses coming in. That's yeah. good, because I said these stone walls would be a complete and that's a waste of otherwise. <laughs> Which is yeah. not good. <laughs> but no maybe, maybe this is nice. This, this is actually bad. Now the res collected is a little bit ahead for Rune right now, and that's mm -hmm. most likely because of the fishing ships. I'm really interested to see if Rune is gonna make fish traps. Uh, once the fish does run out, that is a really good decision. It's just uh, I feel like a lot of uh, play some players at this level do it, and some players don't. You know, mm -hmm. um, just you know, cav armor and then knights. I think that's a really good move. Yeah. So yeah. That... Oh, you saying about like the spears being made preemptively? It's kind of like you know that's what like scouting is coming. Like you gotta get scouting, you know. And that's what, obviously when you scout, that's when you know what's coming. Whereas you know, kind of blindly building stuff is more risky. And not good, but, you know. Right. In this and these case, fires are getting actually some really nice hits here. Yeah. Like, like those knights are like half health coming across, which is pretty big, because now they can't really take spears straight on. But where are the spears? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. And this this is how I felt watching Rune a lot. Just oh no. <laughs> it gets like good stuff, but then just like oh no. Um, yeah. Cavalino is, is always playing this way. So this is a, you know, we'll always kind of the name Cavalry, Caval, Cavalrino, I think I called him. <laughs> so, you yeah. know, he's, he's always going to go into knights all, all the time. And, this hurts so bad because like Rune lost that villager up top, but the Khmer, their ability is that they can like garrison into houses. Wow. So could just hop into the you house. You just throw these villas into houses, yeah, mm -hmm. and that buys you time until you can get the spears out. Oh no. 
That was kind of hand cool. card did come in. Hand card is kind of huge. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, he really needs. Oh no, this hurts so bad because once again the houses. <laughs> That's why we're making this room. Though. This is room. I mean, it means horse in time. Okay, oh. well there we go then. How can you be uh. eternal if you don't? Um, Garrison in the houses. What are the spears doing? Wait, what is that spear doing actually though? Garrison? A garrison and protecting the villagers inside the TC, I guess. Oh, I think I think uh I think he drag clicked and it oh, okay yes. through that one time. Um, but the houses are down now, so that so at least it's not going to be a constant bleed. And then the horsies are taking so much damage from the fires here. It's actually hmm. kind of insane how much damage is being done by these. The, the value from these fires should not be done. Like, I think that horsey is going to go down to a fire. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Another horsey down. We got a battle elephant now? Well, the good news is uh, a room did go up to 41 villages this time, but now it's dropped down to 36. So now I'm just again worried. Oh and... no. Oh. No rune, make villagers. Garrison. You can at least garrison in the TC. Do it, do it. Oh, uh, it's okay. It, it's a lot of pressure, right? It's a lot yeah, of pressure yeah, coming of in. And again, and, it's game one. These, uh, of course, yeah. And then these knights are plus one knights too on the armor, so. And then Rune doesn't have Fletching, I'm assuming, yeah. So, like, the TCs are doing damage, but they're not doing that much damage. This is pain. Maestro says the spear is safe at least, yeah, this is true. I still, I, I don't think it's terrible, it's just hard to come back at this yeah. point. Um, because Cav Cavalino, like, like, we've been looking here, but Cavalino's on three TCs. Yeah. You know, and, and they're pumping those three TCs. Got 18, which is the perfect amount of, uh, yeah. of uh, farms for, for that production. Mm. My only, uh, only criticism here is the thousand gold that we're floating for Cavalino. Mm, yeah. Like, I like Rune's eco balance, you know? Like, the eco balance is really good. I just feel like if those walls were down, or like if we didn't lose, you know, 15 villagers, right? Would have been Such a really a good spot. And now no well. army for Cav Cavalino. No so. villagers, neither. Oh, the elephants! The elephants are going forward! Let's go. Alright. So no, no Cav so Those things are a problem. No those army. things are a problem. <laughs> no army for cavalry, no. Villages are, are really rough for rune and... Uh, Alright, let's see what these can do. That TC could get denied. That TC could fully get denied. Look, no, find it, please. Oh, just... Did see the foundation as well. Did see the foundation, yeah. I think ops to just get inside here, yeah. Now we have camels. I actually don't know how well camels do against. I would assume they do pretty well, but I, I don't fully know. I, I think if you have if you have uh, if you have elephants, you just get in. Yeah, you just want to break the gate. Yeah, if they broke the if... gates, they'd be straight in. But no, it's kind of just. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, the camels are Loki not doing that. No, right? they're just getting they're wrecked. Not, they're they just getting wrecked. We need pikemen here. One monk stops that. That's true. That's true. And we do have 900 gold for Kevin Lino, but I don't, I don't know if the monastery is down. That might be it. Now right it's there. going down. Yeah. So solid. I think uh, one thing we can like determine too is like, Kevin Lino knows their counters, you know? Um, it's just a matter of like getting to it. And I think that's a lot of players at this level, right? Yeah. Sorry, it's just it's a little bit stabilizing right now. I think this is a mistake from Cavalino. I'm gonna be honest. Like, yeah. I think, you know how you guys were saying like last game, like, oh, like I was ahead, but then I gave like too much room. Like, like Loon was fully dead. Like, all you had to do was keep making army. But right now, it, it's getting close. Um, yeah, now this is like a lot of rune to stabilize, of course. And rune is going mm. up fast, 50 villagers. <sighs> Such a big Let's relief. Let's go. <laughs> this is big moves for but rune. I'm Ape, so... Ape coming in for Cavalino. Mm. Oh. 
I... Okay, I mean... But what are we gonna do with it? That's the main question. I think it's gonna be a castle drop. No, it's just a defensive castle. A defensive castle. And a castle already for Rune as well. I'm interested to see, I'm really interested to see how Rune decides to deal with the monks. The monks are the proper play right now for Catalino. Mm -hmm. Like, that's actually really solid. <laughs> Whoa, town bell! <laughs> Everyone's nervous. Sorry. Yes, sir. You know, and, and like behind all of this, like I remember like maybe 15 minutes ago in the game, like uh, Rune only had, what, Rune had like 10 minutes idle TC time, Kevlino only had like 2 or 3 minutes. So now mm -hmm. kevlino has got the same idle TC, he's got more idle TC time than Rune. So really letting like the game come back, it's really going to come down to army composition, I think. Yeah. And... I think Cavalino was one of the first players I've seen like play the game, so maybe I was, I was a bit like awed by that as well. But you know, I see his general yeah. thing seems to be like just getting there early, killing them before they can do anything. Like like he did in this game already, but it just feels like now he's kind of maybe just like oh um now what do I do? And we're still alive. <laughs> Normally they're dead by yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Interesting you say that because um, one thing that I'm. I'm really interested to see, like, what do we do with Ape now, you know? Are we gonna go, like, straight Trebs, like, which is what you should do, I think, but, mm -hmm. like, yeah, also, like, the eco isn't fully there, right, to, like, like, how do you replace this army? Now, what does Cavaline, uh, what does a rune make right now, too? It looks like Pike, I feel like Pike is a really good decision. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be a veil kill. There we go, we'll get one back. I feel like Pike is a good decision, but it, it depends, it depends on the army comp, right, because mm -hmm. we... What's worrying me is that Rune is not making any army. Like the eco is great. This is really solid. Yeah. You know, 77 vils, 78 vils, right? But really took Dizzy's advice to heart is what it seems but like. But then, what about the army? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, and Berguin is mentioning Ballista Elephants too. Like, oh, all of a sudden, you know, if, if Ballista Elephants do come into play here... Mm -hmm. They're just so expensive. I like the pikes though. Like, let's just. Oh, oh, they are coming into play. We have ballista elephants in queue. No way, right? Yeah. Heavy camel though. Wow. So, this is an important time for just people at home or like anybody who's just watching right now to just also understand power spikes. Like, right now you're in. You're in Imperial Age. Like, and you've been in Imperial Age for five minutes longer. Like,. No matter what your opponent has, whatever you have is stronger. Like, just get your upgrades and, like, go in there, yeah. you know? And even getting, like, trebs, like, just... Even if the trebs going close enough to start hitting already, your army defending, that's just, like, a huge thing. Cause the other right. Person, exactly. You know, feudal armor, <laughs> yeah. Root... Rune's armor, Rune's army has no upgrades though. They, I mean, oh. they have the forging. Oh, they just got the upgrade for the melee, so that's good. It's another thing for Rune as well. Didn't get upgrades, but same for Cavalino though in, in this case. So it's, I said. Okay, the Treb is coming out. Let's see how Rune reacts to this because that's we got two or three pikemen that are like, all right, let me go see what's up. Okay, They're the going forward. Let's all follow them. Out. Okay, they're going for it. Let's yeah. follow them. Oh my god, they're going for it. Let's all go. <laughs> Get charged. Are those the ballista elephants out there? Oh, they yeah, are yeah. there. Oh, I feel like they could do a ton of damage here. I could be wrong, but I feel like the ballista elephants could eat here. I, I... They are eating, right? Yep. Or am I tripping? Okay, no, the, no. the treb is still up, though. There are yeah. a lot of trebs here. Which is... Oh, goodness me. Yeah, this is a problem. I think those Ballista Elephants are going to do huge damage against Trebs. Yeah, and, and, and even though the castle is almost dead, Saved he decides it. to like go back. Yeah. And and look at the army queue. Rune has 20 pikes in queue. That's a lot. You know, I more than two two production buildings would be great. But... So I think maybe Ooh, like one know. of these laptops or something isn't too great. That's why it's the, the recording is stuttering, which is, you know, 
It's not on my end. Yeah. Can I show you that much? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. He's like, whatever they see, I think we see. Like, yeah. It's just like a repeat. Honestly, if these Ballista... If, if, if... But this is Byzantines too, right? I'm just mm -hmm. not sure what Connor's Ballista Elephants, to be honest with you. I think they're considered like a siege. I think you need pikes. Uh, like a lot of pikes. Or you rams. Need... Rams to put against or, them. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, do they actually? Yeah. Oh, cause siege, right? Cause siege mm -hmm. on siege. I see. Remember when you said you didn't know anything about the game? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just secretly a 2000 Elo. Sir, secretly. It's good, Turbo Weasel. Hey, we casted your game earlier. Hey, and lots of fun. Yeah. Oh, Turbo Weasel said skirms. Oh. As in skirms do well, or skirms are being teched into because that's what Cavalino is teching into currently. Uh, normally, Don't Turbo says skirms, skirms, so I'm kind of like worried too. Yeah. Skirms. <laughs> we've got, we've got. Is that capped ram coming in? Big kind of or is... siege ram? Uh, cap ram. Capped ram. Oh, we're gonna see some rams. I hope we see some rams because we just teched into it, but mm -hmm. I would love to see some armor on the on those pikes though. I, I actually see I didn't mind Ruin's position, but the push wasn't there. Like the siege wasn't there to complement the push. Yeah. And right now, like all these scrims are gonna do a lot of problems. Scrims. Sorry. I just Scrims. It's just the one time Turbo did a miss spell. It said scrims and it's just stuck with me ever since. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> the Vil count though, and I mean Cavalino right now must be like kicking himself. Like, mm -hmm. how did I let this happen? Oh, that castle! Oh goodness me! Goodness me, that castle! Notice it. This is this is where players could use outposts, right? I think I think around where you hit uh, Imperial Age, just even if the villager ends up dying because they run into a castle or whatever, at least you know, right? Skirts. Don't forget scrims. You got skirts, scrims. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone be misspelling out here. Ah. Yeah, I think there's enough ballista elephants now where it's like if you don't have siege, like you're gonna get yeah. smoked. Mm. And there's uh, armor now. There's attack coming in for the. Oh boy. Rams. Oh, those rams are. This feels really awkward. Just going like. Yeah, okay. just rams. Oh, because the rams have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no. This is actually oh, this what Rune did crazy. in the previous game too. Actually, this is giving me flashbacks. But he, he didn't, he didn't eject them. So like he had like lots of amazing things he could have rejected, but he didn't. And they just, they obviously trickle out one by one, get killed, onto the next one, trickle out, get killed. And this is what also cost him the, the game uh, last. Time. He's a, he's also a secret, like a good RAM player, but again, it's just the execution, which just falls short for Rune. But, um, I think I think Rune has to keep making rams because the rams are gonna hard counter the skirms and then yeah. ballistas behind everything is just gonna be like impossible to deal with. Like it's yeah. it's gonna be so hard to deal with that. Um, there, I wish Rune just sent the whole army. Yeah, because you know. You know. But now again. Is that Asar coming in? I'm so I'm so so That's intrigued right double now. Double crossbow, scale bad armor. Um, this is very fo <laughs> The traps are very forward there. I just have the range. Forward. These ballista elephants could uh, completely oh, destroy yeah. these trebs, and I think they will. This whole army is going to get cleaned up. I, I don't think anything survives this. And I mean, again, like, the, you know, the jumping, like, maybe it's, like, laggy for them as well, so they can't make a decision. Right. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of a lot of shots going through. I mean, the castle did go castle, down. Yep, yeah, so which is they, a huge W. There's no castles yeah. left, so you can't get the ballista elephants out, right? Exactly, right. But but a room can afford another one right now, right? Yeah. Uh, my my question is just siege, like what are we doing for siege? And I, I think the interesting thing here is that um Evelino is also mixing in some halbs. Which is mm -hmm. gonna help. Which is hard. It's really hard to beat Byzantines later in the game and the ballista elephants are not that many left. Uh, the castle is going up, another one. At least tribes get pushed back and destroyed actually, which is nice. So, mm -hmm. it's good. We'll, uh, it's... They'll save one. And, and the thing is, though, uh, Rune needs to realize that, hey, am I going to win uh, versus uh, a full trash army composition here? 
Like, it's just not gonna happen. Um, if, if we go, if we go, like, double trash, because, like, Byzantines, they're so, the trash is so cheap, the buildings are so expensive, right? Mm -hmm. And now Conscription comes in for Cavalino, too. This is gonna be a really hard game to win, just like this. Like, you need to really, like, just death ball push, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Or like raid, or like find find some damage. I also think both players could just use like ten more villagers, 10, 15 more villagers. I think that'd be good. It's funny. Have they both stopped at one oh eight? Exactly, both of them just one oh eight. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, I think I think Bergwin is right too. Like like that ballista mass is nice, but imagine if there was like twenty ballistas, thirty ballistas, like all of a sudden we're you know. Again, just more of like a an, a meat shield in front of these as well. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. You can't lose them. You can't lose them. I don't know how expensive they are, I'm pretty sure. I, I honestly liked the pike. Uh... Oh, nice. Gets a camel there. I like the pike ballista a little bit better than I like the uh, the hussar ballista. Yeah. Hussar are faster, so that is another thing to consider too. And they can punish, right? Like, if a Hussar get into the eco... Again, four traps. Like, this is something that Cavalino's doing really well here. Not trickle trap, Lin. <laughs> yep, exactly. Once right, again, really, really punishing. Castle goes... It's more than likely gonna go down and then back to square one. Room's like, oh, um... Mm -hmm. More stone. Place another castle exactly here. Oh, this is this could be so devastating. But, Please yeah. pick it up. Notice. Nothing. Like if that gets in there, oh my god. Oh, it's, it's open. There's like so many villagers there, and with everything going on, Cavalino might not notice. Good boy, villagers. Yeah. I'm, uh, but they're just idle. But it's yeah. understandable. Also, you got being pushed here as well. So it's like, ah. Oh. It's true. That's true. Again, those ballistas need to be up forward. Like, like, like. I know he's tr trying to protect them and get mm -hmm. like a proper mass. Really, they could just help in those situations. Like the skirms are not going to do much against the ballistas. And and it's like a choke point as well, so it's going to be like really nice. Just to... Right. Okay, skirms now also coming out for rune. Oh, only eight on wood. I only arrived a full animal how? chat. Nice. <laughs> Weasel, bear, salmon. <gasps> Cav well, Cavalina, I guess that's horses. Rune is just... I don't know, fox? I don't know. I'm panicking now. Fox. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I understand. Go. I actually understand why Rune went Hussar, though. Because if you can see, the food count is crazy right now. And I think oh, it's, here we go. I'm not sure if it's... Oh, there they are. Oh, this could be huge. This game is so good right now. There's no way. There no is. He's like, no, yeah. He immediately noticed. Immediately noticed. That's awesome. But these hussars coming in in the middle here. Oh, not all of the, all of these villagers will not be able to fit into the, yeah, into yeah. the town center. This is going to be gigantic in terms of kills. Yeah, 3k food, just as Berggren is saying, and tons of hussars are coming out. And I think Boone's idea here is to raid Cavalino to death. And honestly. That raid right there just had 20 kills and counting. Like that could be huge. Oh, on the front too? Let's see here. Still a lot of damage. Okay, those... The Ballista Elephants need to be firing though. Yeah, that's the only problem. I feel right like they're not firing, yeah. And I think the Ballista Mass is pretty much done here. Maybe if, like, I know it's That's... easier said than done, maybe if Rune could have, like, just snuck a village up here and made, like, loads of stables and then just flooded. That's nice. Exactly, yeah. It's, it's so easy to say when you're not in the game and there's pressure, though, right? Yeah. I think, I think right now, the, I, I mean, if Rune really wanted to, to beat back, like, the trash, all of this trash, um, one thing that, that they could, he could do is just, uh, go champion. Yeah. Needs gold for that though. There is gold around the map, I'm sure, like, and on the top side too. Like, but they're both grueling this game and all. Like, this is a lot. Yeah, thinking about the gold. Uh, but most players won't go champion. Even I barely go champion, and, and that's because it's like such an awkward thing to do, right? Yeah. Champion feels like okay, it doesn't move around. It's not good in the long term. Um, but it it's destroys trash like. 
And Byzantine trash is just really hard to beat because it's so cheap. Rune or uh, Cavalino is pop capped. Lots of army here. I was gonna just like to apologize oh, like? for the jumpiness of the, the game. It's not mine, it's the recording. Yeah. <laughs> right. Dragon says champion is amazing in the right situation. Yeah, and I think this situation right here calls for it. I mean, if you get like 10 or 15 champion and then you have the ballistas behind, and then you have like Hussar to raid the economy, I think honestly, I think Rune just needs to send a little bit more like Hussars into the economy because Kevinino actually didn't recover from that raid. No. Like the villagers are numbers are still down. Tons of halves here. No, they don't have champion. What the 450 Elo sad. Remember, don't have champion? Oh no. What Thank, they you. Make? Thank you, Sam and the Alpaca. He's a 450 Elo Thank legend. You. That's actually crazy. I didn't know they don't. I, I thought almost every Civ gets champion, but I guess Kamara are one of the ones that don't. Honestly, Rune is holding here, and I'm not really sure. Like, yeah. Just needs to find a, a way to get a few more raids. Look at that converted battle. Oh, big from like all the way back. Oh, he sees this. He sees this. Oh, that's, oh, nice that's solid. That's solid. Yeah, it's really good. Come on, okay. And then, yeah, yeah, exactly. Just. Trying to get those Hussar in for the raids, I like that. A really good move. Find where your opponent's economy is, try to raid it, try to kill it. And Cavalino's population is down and Rune has the better population. Right. Still getting like oh, small no. raids here. Oh. Dizzy. Yep. Dizzy. Oh my god. No handcart for Cavalino. Oh, no. I know we talk about eco upgrades, but that's actually a really big deal. And yeah. it shows in the res collected. I mean, oh my goodness. No hand card is really huge. Elite Ballista, let's go. How many Ballistas are we dealing with here? 15. Oh man, if that Ballista mask gets heavy. And with them being elite as well. Oof. Sheesh. Yeah, that could be a really, really big problem. I like just, I, I like how both of them are, are switching up their units a bit too. And um, I, I feel like Cavalino is just thinking, all right, I, I'm just gonna make a mix of units. Whatever he makes, it's gonna get countered, right? Um, I would like to see a little bit more production buildings from Rune. Like the food count is really good. Like those fish, those, I don't know if you can see like how much f food was collected from like the fishing ships. No, I can't. I, mm, I, no, I can't. Oh, okay. But yeah, they're they're really, really, really solid. Oh, and these ballistas are coming in now, and I feel like this is going to be really insane. Maybe some unit with. patrol. Oh, yeah, just a little bit of... Honestly, at this point, you just patrol them. Oh, oh my goodness, God, everything is melting. melting. <laughs> oh. It's melting. What? It's just trying to oh, get them no. to stand still to fire. That's the only thing. Look at the army count! Yeah, but like, holy cow. They got 30, 31 kills. Oof. Just... This is crazy. Okay, but but what we need now is just uh, some seed, right? Something. Yeah. Oh, five trebs in queue for room. If those trebs get out and these ballistas don't go down, it's over. I, I, I don't see a way back. Like, this is just way too many. This yeah. is crazy. There is double projectile. I don't know if they um I don't know if they benefit from uh, ballistics just, or not, but just say yes. Rune is missing no. ballistics. Yeah. That's true. Oh yeah, these camels are not. Oh, one by one like this, they're not going to do anything. Cavalino but, does have a lot of gold. Cavalino is undefeated, but, uh, though. Keep that in mind. This is that's true. Don't write him off just that's yet. True. <laughs> That's true. Oh, oh, a Hussar raid in the north there. Two of them, actually. Yes. There's one up I got here, ten villager. And then there's one one right below this as well. Oh, yes. Which is really oh, important. That, he Hit needs to gold. get them off the gold, yeah. Yes. Oh, and look at all those trees on the other side too. Or trees. The lumberjacks. <laughs> oh, this is so solid right here. Alright. 
Yeah. Sam and the alpaca demand some love to rams in this animal chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and these if these castles start to go down, oh. Like, I, how I do you defend this? Like, yeah. ballista elephants are just gonna stand there and just completely wreck. Like, nothing you send can possibly... I don't know if ballista elephants benefit from ballistics, though. You would think. I mean, it's in the name. Oh, and the positioning is so good. The positioning is so good. You, you don't get past. Yeah. And this goes down. They don't. Okay. Ah, oh, 450 expert says. It's because they already have a bit of ballista on them, I guess. You know? This is honestly an insane game. Yeah. I did not expect. And it's it, honestly, like, I know it doesn't seem like it, but it just feels like a higher, like, a, a really good game. All these Hussar is so good. Like, the fact that Rune is sitting on 4,000, I would love to see, like, 10 more stables, to be honest. Because then you pretty, pretty much get instant Hussar because there's just enough food, right? Yeah. Um, Another good. thing I'd like to see is just taking a little bit of the stone, but to be honest with you, I at this point I think it's snowballing for Yeah, this is this is just stuff is dying. Um the economy's being destroyed. Rome is the only one. And yeah, and this'll be the first hour round. If it stays like this, if, if Cavalino can't find a way to pull back, which is kinda of looking unlikely, it's gonna be Cavalino's first round loss. Hi Martin. Ne and that's huge What's going on martin that's huge right like your first boss like if the tournament is in the knockout round is maybe that's gonna be psychological as well like oh no right 15 ballista elephants in queue uh, oh i love this just playing it safe just, just, just bring the, bring the ballistas back mm -hmm. you know nice we have stuff. the positions right yeah. 13 on stone now, so Rune is already thinking, alright, I'm going to take these positions with the castles, and then what do you do? And look at the eco KD as well. 80 villagers killed. Rune. Yeah, those Hussar raids have been doing so much work. That's probably a production Again, like, in the middle. I'm just going to start to get melted now as well. Yep. And yeah, I'd, yeah, wow. Really Balls a good it. play. And Rune, maybe Rune is going to go all the way. Uh, you know, maybe Rune is maybe I mean eternally honestly, undefeated. This... <laughs> right. I mean, honestly, this was a very um. It this started was a very off a solid game. Yeah, it started off a bit like scruffy, and then and kind of maybe they could have made like better choices, but then you know it just I just kind of spiraled out of control. Both of them, they're both like sending all these units. Everything's dying. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I really liked how, one thing I really liked about this was like, both, both uh, the presence of mind was there for room to realize that what, like, what his win condition was, right? Mm -hmm. he, he's like, my win condition, even remember, I don't know if you remember, even I said, I was like, ah, oh, you could put those ballista elephants forward, but he's like, no, I'm going to keep these ballista elephants alive until we have enough of them to basically, you know, steamroll anybody, right? Who's, yeah. um, who's coming at us, right? Uh, and because he stuck to that win condition, it just worked out for him. Versus Cavallino, basically, what was his win condition? Like, I'm just going to build trash until I take the opponent's buildings out. But you still have to deal with the opponent's win condition, right? Which is the Ballista yeah. Elephants, so well played. I think the only way Room is going to truly fall is if, if another early strike from Cavallino takes him out, right? Because that's where he looked his weakest, Room looked his weak, like, kind of early, where it was like, you know... An early game, so yeah, yeah. I think I think Cavalino is going to be looking back at that game and thinking, ah, like that's that's when I should have struck, right? Like, uh, you know, all those knights are inside, right? You get you get a forward siege workshop, or you just get some some form of additional pressure, or like there was a moment where Cavalino just stopped making army, like just fully stopped making army, you know, mm -hmm. um, and. Yeah, I mean, you can't just stop making army, right? Um, you have to boom behind that, like, really, really hard, like, four or five TC to the point where, like, it's impossible for your opponent to come back. Um, and that just didn't happen, you know? So, so Rune is, like, seed one, right, in the in the whole Gregory VII. Is that right? Yes, yes. Which, 
you know, as I say, I, I don't like to say, like, in terms of, like, all the players. Uh, he kind of feels like, in the quarterfinals, like, when I look at the, the names, to be, like, one of the, the weakest, because I, I didn't look at the seeds beforehand. I just judged them by how they've played so far. So, um, <laughs> and to me, Cavallino seemed like one of the strong competitors. So, uh, maybe it's just, like, it's just, let's go Rune. <laughs> but I don't know. So, it, It'll be a, a nice win for Rune, and maybe that'll like build his confidence. Because confidence has been a big thing for Rune, actually. He's, I think he's take, took, like, had a little break before this competition started, so he was a bit rusty there as well. But, um, right. so yeah, in, in kind of terms of seeding him being first, but when I've when I've seen the players before, I, I, I would say he's probably the most weakest. But uh, hopefully now, if he does go on and win this, this will like boost the confidence, and well, he'd be going against you, so you know. Hopefully his confidence right. goes right up, and I want to say beats beats the next player because that's you. But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I wouldn't normally say beats the next player, but you're right here, so it's kind of awkward. But <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I, I I know what you mean, and yeah. um, I, I think it is important, right? But also, like, I, I think it's important to, like, Cavallino didn't take any losses. Mm -hmm. When you don't take losses, you get really complacent. You know, mm -hmm. um, and I, I think it's like important for players to like take losses from time to time. Yeah. Um, you know, I lost. Uh, I'm I I feel good. Like I'm lucky that I lost that first match against Zeta too. Like or like that first game in that in our yeah. first set together. Like this that kinda like... that kind of like kicked me into gear, and it was like, mm -hmm. all right, you got to be serious. You got to be focused on other aspects of the game. And same thing with with Hockey Merc in the last set that we were watching, right? Um, in the quarterfinal, like losing that game in the middle, like it really like just made me think. Okay, I gotta, I gotta think about these things, you know. Yeah. Um, so, and I think Cavallino, maybe you know, I think he went six and all, right? So, yeah. Um, didn't have that experience, right? Yeah. So it was like this maybe really it's like the, the wake of call he needed, which is like yeah, right. Exactly, and then then on the other hand, Rune had that experience, like had that wake up call. Like you're here, uh, based on basically players, like you know another person's condition like you were not in control of your yeah, own entering it, into like the moment, right it's amazing he's even here in the first place and now he's he's potentially going to go to the semi-finals and that, that just blows my mind to me that's that's kind of the point i was trying to make and i know you kind yeah. of see the points i try and make and you just bad push like say so yeah thank you <laughs> that's what, you know yeah yeah no no, no you're good i uh, yeah i know what you're saying like like it's but uh yeah i feel like rune has that extra life you know where he's thinking um oh you know like i and i had this opportunity like let me make the most of it right where cavallino is thinking like oh like i'm chilling you know both players going for the deer on the sides right mm. um tell me what do you think about the civ matchup because people were talking about it peregrine is talking about it in the, in the chat what do you think about this civ matchup right here i i don't know too much about the hindustanis i always forget about them but i know the goths obviously you get this spam on the goths, which is interesting because I don't right. see Rune as like uh, as like an attacky person. But I think maybe if if someone like starts spamming like troops, getting like rushes in on Cavalino, maybe they'll like actually shake him up too. As you say, he's yeah. he tends to also like from last game, like when when it started, like things started not going his way, he kind of maybe didn't have the experience of how to deal with that. So maybe he just needs to get you know knocked off his feet now and then. Being one nil down, maybe they'll like really shake him up. So, yeah. I, I I kind of feel like. So, could you explain the Hindustanis to me more, just so I can kind of remember them and, and get a refresh? Of course, of course, yeah. So there's two things Hindustanis are really uh, known for. I would say one thing is really strong camels, right? Mm -hmm. um, their camels, uh, I believe, their camels attack um, faster, or they do more damage. One of the two. 25% more is what you're getting. So their camels are really, really good. Uh, but what else they're really known for is uh, is the hand cannons, right? So they have hand cannoneers, right? Yeah. Uh, and there's a unique tech that they can get that increases the range on the hand cannoneers by two. So they have, they have nine range hand cannoneers. So their hand cannoneers are so, so good, right? And they also have cheaper villagers. So they're a really good booming sieve that has yeah. cheap villagers, great camels, and basically really good hand cannon here. Um, and that's why it's an interesting matchup against the Goths, because, you know, obviously the strength of the Goths is um, the horses. infantry, right? the spam, <laughs> but uh, the hand cannon here, like the hand cannon here is, is like the perfect counter to that. Um, so 
I think it's interesting. I wonder if they're thinking about this, right? Like, I wonder if Rune is sitting here thinking, ah, well, I went Goths. Um, I know my opponent gets Hand Cannon here, but if I can get to Imperial Age faster or something along those then lines, can, right? Yeah, what I was thinking, yeah, what I was thinking is, like, maybe try and go into Fast Castle, into Huskell spam, or maybe just, like, kind of like Man at Arms Rush, and then just keep the, the infantry alive long enough just to where you can upgrade them, and then just keep Cavalino at bay, right? As I said, if you say, like, I wouldn't have known about the hand cannon. So, like, if Cavalino does get to a point with his hand cannons as well, that's, if if he doesn't just stick to his typical uh, camel play, <laughs> Camelino. But, uh, yeah, so I, I don't know. From what I choose, like, here now, I'd, like, try and go fast castle with goths and just kind of maybe try and get her skulls out or, or some sort of play yeah. where you can t disrupt the opponent into stopping from, um, uh, getting into hand cannons and just kind of like just keeping the pressure on with infantry well yeah. the in interesting thing here is that i think you're calling it correctly i think i think rune is going fast castle i'm pretty sure because the, the eco balance is there right now mm -hmm. where it, oh no what, what was just clicked spearman um okay well okay well wheelbarrow i guess i'm not sure i'm not sure if hand cannon is or i'm not actually i think blue barrels click before so yeah i think this is still fast castle it's just like an improvised fast castle mm -hmm. but the key thing is that those walls need to come down there are scouts rune uh, cavalino's gone up to seven scouts i say i always yeah. call him cavalry reno cavalry reno i, <laughs> I don't know reno. But either way they're gonna find damage oh this is gonna be so good oh this is a lot of dead bills here oh and there's no reaction nothing and again, this is just the Cavalino I know where he's just like, let's just say if you get a camel save and it's like just suddenly getting out. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if one yeah. day Cavalino plays his goths and still starts using like ca <laughs> cavalry. <laughs> and I, I kind of know just how bad like cavalry is for goths because I don't know if you know in single oh, player. Oh, these vills too. Yeah, uh, I don't even know if it's single player, like where there's a mission where you're playing as the goths and you have to like destroy the castles with, like under 30 mm -hmm. minutes. And. <laughs> I was, I was doing everything. I was like, okay, because well, because I was only a cavalry player at the moment at the time. I was like, right, let's make cavalry as the goths, and then a very it was a very quick lesson realizing just how kind of bad the, <laughs> they are. <laughs> so yeah, um, right. and this is really hi, followers. Gulams. No, I, I I see what you're saying, and oh yes, ghoulums as well. Uh, ghoulums do really well against infantry, so. Um, another option, the unique unit for the Hindustanis. The Ghulam is also like a really good like anti eagle um, unit. So I, I mean they're very good against infantry. So this is a really solid Civ pick. But I mean when you have six Vil kills and feudal age, oh Cavalino's up to ca I mean Rune is up to castle. So I think everything was everything was perfect here. It's just like I I, I would have preferred having those scouts, or I'm sorry, having those spearmen out by the scouts. So that you could save yeah. these bills. Um, I think just flashed from my mind very briefly. I was like, "Well, this Cavalino's playing this very, very good already. This, this is game two. Maybe this is his home map, and it is Cavalino's home map. So, you know, this is oh, that's true. This yeah. kind of clicked in my head. Then I was like, "Well, with how Cavalino's playing this, this gotta be his, his home map." You know, and, it is. and yeah. yeah, I think he's missing. Cavalino's like missing the opportunity here, though, right? Because, yeah, he just uh, like, like, going. like one minute. Yeah, like, like I know there's six spears there. Like, high-level players, I think, what high-level players would do is the moment they got that much damage, right, you expect spears. Like, that's the only thing people can really do against scouts, mm -hmm. so you just go archers, right? Yeah. Um, and that just basically kills your opponent. Like, even if, if, if Rune got to Castle Age, right, like, it would kill it. Instead, what Cavalino has opted to do is go Castle, right? And, um... I don't know. I mean, I've been debating this in my head quite a bit too. It's like, because what ends up happening is you get tons of damage, but you hit castle at the same time. Then, if your opponent gets a gets a spike um, in castle age, it's like, hey, you, you you're not really punishing them, right? Yeah. So like, all this army is out here. Like, what is it doing though, right? Like, we have to think about that. And well, it has to be said though, behind all of this, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, just the idle TC time is so solid for Cavalino too. Yeah. Another thing I've seen is like just uh, players of like this level, kind of when it comes to like uh, spearmen, maybe just send one cavalry, get them chasing it, and just get out of play. 
Like, because that's yep. why they don't have neither is the speed, and you're obviously know, scouts, you've got lots of speed, and you just, again, hit a lot of places. These spearmen can't be everywhere at once. So. Oh, there's a hole there. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a hole. This is it. Just, this is very frustrating. Hold these vills back, at least, and then you got the spearmen coming through, so this is really solid. Yep. And then knights on the other end. I just really want, I just really, I just really want, oh. Oh, this a nice little surround trap. here. Yeah, yeah this you is want to actually get out, really run away. here. Now you want to try and hit the goals. Again, you say this. That's the worst thing about spearmen, it's just their speed. You're like, oh, I could counter this, but... Uh, uh. Right. And you see how Rune is, like, floating so much wood right now? Like, where's the... Like, a second town center right now would be so nice. Uh, oh, this is so bad. Yes. The whole army is lost. Gone. And then the knights are going forward, too. Like, so for the knights for Rune right now, or going this forward is... right now, these no, knights are this... going to be really good. Even though those are spearmen there, those spearmen don't have any armor. These spearmen are not going to be able to take it. Oh, Rune, take it. Take this fight. I don't think... Rune didn't see it up until now. But the reaction from Cavalino there to get, like, the walls down was actually really nice, too. So I think... Yeah, that was, that was really good. You, you can take that fight. You can take that. Yeah. Again, no armor, right, on this... Those yeah. pikemen don't do much, but but you just keep moving here, right? You're not going to get much here, yeah. so you just keep moving. Oh, delays it, though. That's just... solid. Wow. But see, like, the, the the interesting thing now is like, okay, what do you do? Like, the, now the camels come out, and you're playing into the strength of the Hindustanis. Yeah, which is oof. I got this. Like, I, I, yeah, I, I don't like Go ahead, the, sorry. I don't like the cav for, for goths, because, like, there's a hole in there. there. There's a hole. Wait, there's a hole? I just want to go back because... <laughs> the night came around. The you've got to notice these as a player. Like, you've got, you've got to notice this. If you're, if you're on the front foot here and you've been raided, if these get in a little bit quicker, you can still try and pick something, but... No. Just this happens. And now these camels come over. Right. Oh. I mean, as a player, as a player, you always uh, click inside, right? You just click yeah. inside the base, right? And mm -hmm. the, the the units will path in if they if they need to. You know. All right, second TC is coming down uh, for Rune here. And look, here's the thing: the third TC can be afforded too, right? Yeah. Uh, I know the farms aren't there to like fully produce yet, but also a thing for players at home, from what I've seen, like anybody who's watching. Yeah, X Vedas is here too. Yeah, hi Vedas. Play games again. Alex, if the day has. Yeah, I don't know if that's. Is it? That's how you say. It. Hell yeah! See, everyone doesn't know what to say, and I come in, little, you know, little dizzy. Just it's the day has. Apparently, that's that's right. So, woo. <laughs> Sorry. I like it. Yeah. What's yeah, it all about? Uh... No, it's actually just X better better jazz. Oh, but, oh. well, I like how the day has sound because it's just easier on the rolls. It is but, easier. Yeah. That's yeah. Sorry. Vidija? No. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, you, you, you. Yeah, just a note for like players at home. Like, if you're gonna build that second TC and you don't have farms up, build the second one on wood, right? Like, then you'll get wood for the farms easier. Because there's no point in building TCs if you're not gonna keep them producing. Um, oh, I like like Rune's game sense is really solid now, though, right? We're making pikemen. We're like we're playing Hindustanis. They're gonna go camels. I saw the camels. Let's make pikemen. Solid. This is a problem. Like, the no villagers. Well, there's one there, but it's really. 30 villages are a pain. Pikeman is nice though. But I think he lost that eight. I don't know. But that third TC, like, yeah. See, that third TC has to come down a lot sooner if mm -hmm. you're ruined, especially because you lost so many bills earlier, right? Um, now we're dealing with seven minutes idle TC time. We're dealing with, you know, tons of stuff. <laughs> oh, was we were missing the wood upgrade. Yep. And I'm worried about how open this is as well still, like, maybe getting, like, a TC down, I don't know, if by here would be a good place, or by here, just to I'll try and water. Yeah. Hmm. X Ved, X Ved Deus. X Vio good enough, okay. It's bad. There you go. Wait. I think just, just a head, The good thing is, like, is camels not really good at raiding right, you know. So. 
No, well, the Hindustani camels, because they have more attack, they're actually a little bit, like, they're oh, better they're, than your okay. standard camel. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Also, somebody can uh, can uh, correct me if oh oh this is a nice little move here oh no we gotta patrol these no mm. well it happens <laughs> but uh, but what was I gonna say um, oh yeah just to give you a heads up I've got about like seven minutes then I gotta head out all good all good um, uh, thank you so much yeah. for being here you know so just in advance of course, thank yeah. you <laughs> I actually didn't didn't expect that first game to be um, as intensive as it was uh -huh. I'm glad I got to watch it because it was it was really nice. Cavalino's going on to four TCs right now. Really impressive how the idle TC time. I know, I know, there's some idling right now, but the idle TC time has been so low. Like wheelbarrow coming in right now is like very late, yeah. like very late, and he's housed. But he's still housed. What is going on? There we go, finally. The one, that one night is like, just in case. Yeah, yeah, just in case. Honestly, I like it. Like, just in case any villas come out to, like, TC there or something. Cavalino could mark it to Imp right now. Doesn't even need to mark it, honestly. Yeah, and clicks up to Imp. It's really solid. And I think it's going to be really hard for Rune to come back because, um, despite what you've said, Dizzy, we're at 45 villagers. Yeah. Which is still an improvement. This is normally 36. But. Hmm. <laughs> Pain. Pain. I mean, the army count for Kevalino though, not super impressive. If Huskarls start coming out, we do need army. I mean, we do need armor for some Huskarls though. Those Huskarls are going to produce really quickly. What are we doing on stone count for Rune? Yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna have another castle anytime soon. Two castles could have been really deadly, especially one in the middle. Both streaming the... out some Huskarls. Do you think it, w it would have been worth just to like place some forward barracks? I know it's like too late for Huskarls, but... or is it Perfusion or the other one which, which in, um, lets you make Huskarl from barracks? Or is the castle it's... down there now? I think it's the other one. I mean, I think it would have been okay, but I think the issue Anarchy. is like yeah. the, the balance, right? Like mm -hmm. from Rune right now. Because, again, like, we just don't have enough vills, right? Like, we only have nine on wood. But, I, again, I get... We're, we're, okay, hand card is finally coming in, but... Oh, the eco upgrades are hurting. That's what it is. I'm like, why is there no resources? That's why. There's no eco upgrades yeah. right now. No horse color, doll. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Alright, we got Huskarls going up, but they have no armor. So... We're wrong. No, no, not I'm wrong. We're wrong. <laughs> Sorry. We are wrong. Talking to the table. What were you saying? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut out then. Oh, you're good. No, I was just saying, like, the Huskarls are going forward. No armor, but they're going forward. It's just going to be tough, right? I would really like to see if Cavalino just builds a few. But yeah, like, you see chemistry is coming in. Those hand cannons are going to come in soon. And then what do you do as gods? Yeah. The day has says Cavalino's eco is good to pop out a lot of hand cannon, but does he have the ranges? Ranges are coming down right now. There's four of them, and yeah, it's gonna. It's it, this is like I, I don't really know what you do against this army composition, to be honest. I mean, it's nice for Rune to get a few kills, but and and look at the idle TC time. Like right now, we're idling. Like Rune should be the last person idling. Mm -hmm. Um. We're probably trying to micro those uh, those uh, house girls up front, taking away some uh, some APM here. All right, finally some bills in queue. Also. That's true, there are no upgrades on the camels, there are also no upgrades on the infantry, there are no eco upgrades, and finally the infantry upgrades are coming in, I like that, no eco upgrades, but again, soon these hand cannoneers are coming out, like, Shratagni is, is that uh, hand cannoneer tech I was talking about, so all of a sudden these hand cannoneers are going to have 10 range on them, and like, they're just going to eat. 
And Videha says, Cavalino, if you're watching this later, use it back blacksmith more. As if Cavalino, you know, goes through and if he gets knocked out, maybe he doesn't care. Maybe he quits, Sage of Empire. No, I'm just... <laughs> oh, I'm there you go. <laughs> uh. Alright. Wait, why though? Maybe for maybe for some mangonels? I think that's the thought here. Oh that castle. Oh man. I'm sorry. <laughs> that castle. What is it? Toxic so streamer, I'm yeah. dead. From what I said, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just joking. Mostly. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure how you come back from this one. I mean, uh, you, you would go like Huskarl, maybe like uh, Huskarls and uh, or maybe Pike and no, you would go. There, there are a lot of pikemen, which is nice. But you, would, you would go Huskarl and then uh, also. Um, you, oh man, I can't talk skirmisher uh, to deal with the hand cannoneers. But these hand cannoneers have nine range, so it's like you know, castle age skirmishers are not going to reach them in the first place. What I meant to say is maybe Cavalina wouldn't be interested in watching this video because he's out of the competition, not because he's quit Age of Empires, but I, f I, f I figured, you know, if you're going to go all the way, you might as well just say quit Age of Empires. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. Look at that damage control right there, live, on air. As the trap start hitting the castle. Um, yeah, as I say, though, kind of your only, like, your only play right now, as you said, like Husk Cars, and the, the only place to kind of make them right now is getting hit. And here we go, he's Rune's famous Siege Rams. <laughs> oh. It's so interesting. If they had armor, honestly, I'd be I'd be like, oh you're cooking now, but they don't have armor. Well, Salmon wanted Siege Rams, here we go, here's your Siege Rams. Oh. Those hand cannons are shredding. Yeah. This should be the game. Unfortunately for Rune. But, uh. It's interesting. I, I don't think. I think I think the ego is just too far ahead. And then there's too yeah. much army. Like, how do you deal with this army? And, and you, like, no counter, really. Like, you just. Playing into the, the Hindustani strength. And, yeah. Right. And also, like, this is a double gold army, right? Like. And that I think Hindustanis get a tech where their like gold units are cheaper. I might just be making things up right now, but I'm pretty sure that's one thing. Or like, oh no, they get they get a tech where all sources of gold get you 10% more or something like that. So that includes trade as well as other things. But uh, I, I'm sorry, does he have really get a head? No, 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 out. it's okay. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for having yeah. me. On. Thank you for joining. Me. I would not. No. Of course, all the, I'm looking forward to the third game. All the good blessed See, vibes yeah. and well wishes and all that, you know? Yeah. Yep. Bye bye. Alright, see you around. Alright. If anybody else wants to join me co casting, you know, doors open. That was awesome. BD Legends, make sure. He's still in this, so BD Legend will be going against whoever wins this, this set. So BD could be going against Cavalino or Room. Again, I'd like to apologize for like the jankiness of this. You see, it's kind of like jumpy. That's because it was one of the recordings, it's not my PC. And I'm, <laughs> my PC's on fire right now. <laughs> Trap stole the stack there. <laughs> now more and more, this looks like it's gonna be Cavalino's round, it's gonna be 1 0. And uh, that means we're gonna go to game number 3, which. I don't know, could go anywhere really, of how this has gone. We're gonna be on rooms. Home map at least, which is nice, so. so I'd like to thank everyone for you know watching right now and being around and vibing and just living life and having a good time. Uh, right. No 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 no. Um Rune Rune doesn't <laughs> I've already done all the Alexios. <laughs> <laughs> I've done all the Alexios games, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, GG's called there. There it goes, what all? Cavalino played such a 
Great game this round. Rune didn't have no answer to obviously the counters. And we're going to go into game three, which if I open the drafts, it's going to be cr cross. And okay. Rune is very aggressive on cross in terms of getting a fast castle up and then ramming down the enemies. And if I remember correct, Actually, I don't know what, what Civi he was. I, I can't remember what Civi he was last time. I won all indeed. And uh, here we go. I'm bringing up the table. Um, Portuguese Burgundians. We shall see. We get ready for the third game between Cavalino. And Rune. Sorry, I don't know why I did something like that for Rune the Eternal. Oh, <laughs> mm. uh, okay. Right. So. Oh, my save games are all over the place. Uh, Portuguese Burgundian says Bergwin, who is so close to being right, but also so close to being wrong. Game number three. Here we go. Cavalino. That's the Chinese versus Burgundians for Rune. And then, oh my god, let's go. So, Cross is obviously. Another map I don't have to get to see anymore, actually. Many people have banned Cross, but, you know, four legs to either side, to get the water control, to get the free food. Uh, I don't know. I think this can go either way. Like, this is Rune's home map, so. Maybe more of an advantage towards room for that case, but um, again, Cavalino might just do some early damage in return. I will record really how this is going to go. But this is the knockout stages, the quarter final, where only one person can go through. And once again, we're back in this one all. Like every single game is so tight, so close, and one all it is. Oh, one of one of these Cavalino was undefeated before today. Won every single game, won every single set. Six zero and now takes the first loss, but now it's one all, so maybe Cavalino is feeling just slightly better now. And Rune once again Rune has another easy. Rune every single game Rune has played has been two one, two one, one two, one two, two one, two one. Once again, Rune finds himself on the third game, where it's like maybe Rune has lots more experience of being one all. Maybe Rune's gonna have the cooler heads because of how many times it's been one on one two two one one two 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 one. Um, maybe Cavalino is just kicking now into full gear. I don't know though. I, I really don't know who's gonna win between these two. So we just gonna have to watch and see. Wepper, right? And this is the last Gregory the Seventh game that I'm casting. So. I do want to ask the salmon. Draglipok, Cavalino, so weird. Um, is Cosrow a bracket you'd be interested in, or is that too too high for you? Mm. All right. Here we go. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Doc is going up for room. This villager stood around thinking about life and pondering about what can happen if Cavalino goes through to the knockout. How close he is to going through. Well, he's at the knockout now, I mean, to the semi finals. Like, if I go to the semi finals, I think. I think life will be good. So, hmm. Okay, he's decided now. Another house there is. Alcatraz, hey! 
guys, if you want to like another another streamer who plays Age of Empires, Alcatraz, a circle, awesome person. Hi hi. Hola. <laughs> Como estas? <laughs> I'm trying to speak back. <laughs> Alcatraz doesn't speak so good the uh, English and, I, and obviously I don't speak good uh, like Latin so kind of you know weird hello hi 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 hello actually you know Alcatraz speaks much better English than I do uh, Spanish so no nice to see you Alcatraz you doing having a good day oh god Hmm. Hola. <laughs> hey, this is my job. This is my job. No, this is my job. Hey, this is my job. No, this is my job. No, 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 guys, it's my job. No, it's mine. This this job is mine. Oh dear. <laughs> well. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe Cavalino isn't so good on this map. Maybe it's no practice on um, cross. I can't. Cl oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay. I see that. That's right. Videas is right. Just can't. That's, that is annoying. Obviously, he's trying to like. Alright. That's annoying. It's over. Hidden Cup Community is, is another tournament which T90 is organized and hosted along with all these wonderful admins. Whereas uh, basically the community of T90 official is uh, playing in a knockout stage tournament and it's on the. Somebody link the, the Discord for the tournament server, please. T90's uh, tournament. If you could. Nothing's flat. <laughs> flat build. It's like the earth. You see this earth is flat. See? Flat earth. Confirmed. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I'll link the Discord server. Never, never generate that coming. There we go. For those who want to join the tournament server, you won't be able to join this this cup right now, but there's going to probably be more in the future. We hope so. Yeah, love to see you all there. Goes up for rune across this. Hmm. And now you got no chance of clicking there. All right. No, Turbo Weasel's going, no! No! Walled in, walled out. <laughs> Just as the scout runs in as well. Oh, it's annoying. The scout's going to be walled in, in a way, so that's good. Hmm. 
Now, is being inside being walled in, or are you walled out? Hmm. If there's a cat in a box, which is... Well, I don't know. Frodo's cat. Oh, look, it's Rune's base, which is just kind of chilling, vibing. Scout tower goes up there. Up goes the weasel. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start walling this up. Yeah, if like room AOE QM. Huh? Huh? My brain hurts, Dusty. Well, that, that that makes it sound like I have a brain in the first place, lol. Again, though, um, Rune is not one to shy away from using stone walls. It really wants to, like, I don't know, wall up. Maybe he's gonna, I don't know. Hmm. This guy is just chilling there, living life. And gold. There's a lot of gold here. Um, what is this? Oh, right. Okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, I somehow translated that into Age of Empires uh, quick match. <laughs> Actually, these walls are going to work nice in terms of like temporary deterrence because, like, of all the places Avelino chooses. Uh, I. I t <laughs> So, so that was walls, uh... Oh no. Oh, uh, freaking hell. Oh no. Oh. No, Room. Again, this is so what... Uh, it happened so much to Room, he just got so unfortunate, so unlucky. Oh no, if BD Legend could see this, BD would be like... Oh. This is Room to a T, this, this whole before... Ah, uh, and he's gonna try, he's not gonna be able to get this wall down, that goes down another villager. Ah, uh, but unfortunately these scouts were lost to the TC, which is nice, right? Um, only one villager killed, which is really nice. Obviously it's gonna delay the economy. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it was just nice to, like, you know, these would have been redirected away and... It's just room. It's just freaking. This is just. I feel for room. Ah. Oh. Now Castellage comes in Cavalino. And. Martin completed this game five times. Everyone give a massive. Massive shout out right now. The man, Fox, who's. Age of Empires five times. Undis Undisputed King of all castles. Undisputed. Martin Martin Fox. Ah. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I just... That's so annoying. Now, he's not gonna wall... Gonna get a villager to wall this up, or is it... He's probably gonna forget about it. Um, now this wall goes down. The knight is in. They both got loom. Okay, that's good. That was, that was just something I had to check. I was like, hold on. Because this is how this is going. Might start fighting each other. Can I? Just the scout. <laughs> oh. There we go. Oh. Does get Cavalier. But, uh. Oh, three TCs get dropped instantly. Uh, again, Cavalino's had a rough start to this. But <laughs> oh, no freaking wall. Martin is being, you know, 
Martin is being uh, very King Martin, I think we're seeing here. Walls this up. Can't help but feel like maybe Rune can get a dock out on this stock because it's just uncontested. What Rune see? Rune does see, you know, his walls still completed, but. I say, hmm. And now the Cavalier is kind of scary, right? And this is a lot of Cavaliers to have to deal with. But there are camels coming out. Just need to run inside here. Just kind of... Okay, the bad fight for Cavalino there is going to lose the Knights. Just need to... Just these camels. They do go down. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. It, it's the recording. It's, it's, I think one of these people's like computer or something is just slightly off. Um, it's happened when I've I done Cavalino's past videos, so yeah, it's okay. It happens. And, and, and this is going to be tough to deal with. I just laugh in BD because I don't know if you've seen it, you probably did. Okay. Um. Okay, this is, this is rough. Ah, okay. What happens? I don't want to look away from it. Okay. <laughs> what happens for Rune, right? In typical Rune fashion, he got down his stone walls, scouts came in, and he didn't wall this part. It looked wall. <laughs> A freaking scout just went straight past him and got into... Only killed one, though. It could have been way worse for Rune, but it was just, it was just, it was just a typical... Just a typical rune thing, you know? Yeah, so stone walls down and then instantly they they don't work because there's a freaking hole. Now there's a lot of camels out now to count these ca cavalry. And it's, it's gonna buy um Cavalino some more time now. Rune is making villagers, yes. Good. Yeah, and BD. Everyone say congratulations to BD. I no no no, he's not gonna he's he's forgot about it. He's forgot about it. Up until these come through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did um we did all the games today. It's a unique check. Jitter, Nightline uses a series of short teleports to traverse. <laughs> That's true. Oh, and this time just he just Did it get started? Oh, it got started. It just got one HP. Maybe? I don't know if it's started or not. Either way. Right. Was that wall started then? Right? That wall was started, so it was just one HP. Teleport bug. Nope. Wee. No, they did. Yeah, they did. They patched it all, even even the drop off, but uh oh. No. Well, again. Yeah, just kind of buying time here for Cavalino. And maybe Rune's like, hold on, what am I chasing him for? We. Oh. He's, this, this scout, this monk. Sorry, these camels got oh, just passing. Yes, Chinese. It's Camelino. Hey, could be a little. Okay, there's not. There's a hole by here, but of course, there's more camels. So, hmm. Jittery, jittery. So the monk wasn't mounted. It's true. I'm down here. Arax. Rune is housed. Now again, if Rune does win this set, what an amazing journey it would be for Rune, who got so close to getting eliminated, all the games having... Never quite, you know, all the easier, that's all the matters. And if, if he does get through to the semi-finals, that's going to be epic. Cavalino was undefeated up until the, today, when he went one nil down to Rune. So this would be just an epic story for Rune. Cavalino, maybe. Again, both players again house now. Maybe they're both nervous.
Oh, also, hi, Scratch. Sorry. How are you doing, Scratch? So good to see you. Uh, feel free to link your YouTube channel. Dennis and Scratch. Have a love John Burrow on the Hidden Community Cup. Whee! Ah, being an adult. Ugh. I always got told, um... Growing old is, is inevitable. Growing up is optional. <laughs> Oh, good, yeah, because you, you get the new uh, AT right. I was thinking about that. That's awesome, though. Really, really awesome. Of course. You were hyped about him. We were hyped. We were just like, let's go. Oh, you're right. The day has. I, I want to try and cover, like, every single semi final game as well, but my brain is going to be mushed, too, so. <laughs> ah, it, you know, it doesn't really matter, anyways. Dogs are gotta be dogs right at the end of the day. The lynch! Room. Oh, camels. Hmm. Just, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe just keep these cav cavalry alive. Yeah, this is the whole teleport stream today. No, I, I noticed there's something with the, the API with Twitch chat is like kind of it's delayed for some. So because the stream latency is zero. You'll see her on screen before you see her in your chat box. Ah. X Xvid is something else. Xvid. All right. Castle goes down. Poor Cavallino on a hill. In the gold. The Castellino. It's gonna be nice, of course. You know, just a bit of stability. Uh, Imp is now coming in again for room. This is kind of very. Toasty! Toasty! Everyone say hi to Toasty, who, who is awesome. Toasty was in the Gregory um, group with Rune. Uh, Rune just managed to pass Toasty, so this could have been Toasty here versus Cavallino. It's not, but either way, we're so happy to see you, Toasty. Part of the Greg7 gang. It doesn't matter who wins or who loses. At the end of the day, we've all had fun. Right, we're all winners in our own way. Or something. I haven't been able to see anything told phrase. Sticks and stones may break my bones, words will never hurt me. <laughs> Still heartbroken. Oh, <laughs> Tungsty. There's more, you know, there's... Probably there'll be more events where you can get redemption, right? You want to see more Toasty? Because your name has so many whys. Like, why? Why, why, why? Right, so this is kind of like a weird interlude. They're both are just getting up their armies. Oh, that freaking wall is... It's bothering me. Just finish the freaking wall. Uh, uh, I don't like this. Just... It... Yeah, like... And you have these halves, like... No... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This just gives time. Where are the sea trams? Room is just kind of... Imperial Age comes in for room. Not too much difference, because... I think this castle's really nice. See, it holds a nice stance. If the TC goes down here, hmm. Like Cav Pike. Kind of like what happened in in, uh, in game one, right? Just like the trash units, again, just kind of being spammed off a rune. I I want rune to win as well. He, he just got that thing where he wins. He wins your heart. But also, Cavalino is also so great too. So it's like, 
I don't mind. Like, I just don't want anything to lose. I don't know. It's awkward. Rune has that effect. I don't know why, it's just Rune. Rune has the effect on people where it's just like... I don't know, he's just Rune. And actually, so... Rune... Before we casted Rune, he would always go to like 37 villagers, no more, no less. I think it was 34. And we were like screaming, like, come on Rune, come on Rune. And after listening to us, he, he you know, broadened his rise and he, he went to 41 villagers. I think it was 39. But uh, today he's really shown up with the villagers. So that's nice. So. Hmm. It's really, really, really awkward for them both. And, and obviously Rune can see this. Another castle down here. So, this forces room to react. Teleport. Teleportation. Five cats! Uh oh. Everyone say hi to five cats as well. Don't worry. The toasty five cats. The day has everyone. DD. Oh, you're right now. Being awesome. Uh, oh no. He's a. Well. Camels don't do too much against them, so that's okay, you know. Um, suddenly, uh, keep these crabs alive. Camels are dead, but I think I think Rune is gonna take this. Chu canoe. I think Rune is gonna take this. In Greg gang, Greg seven gang. I think Rune is gonna take this. And, and Cavalino being undefeated up until today. Even five cats had fallen to Cavalino. But... I don't know, it's, it's still too soon of course, you know. But this is... You lost your army. Man at arms, hmm. Okay. Cavalino. Cavalino. Cavalry... Cavalry Lino. I know, I tried. Um... This would be a, a poetic underdog story, though, because it said Rune, like, kind of... It was very unlikely that Rune was going to be here in the first place, but... We'll see. Yeah, and just, Trebs is just very forward with the help behind. No, quick, move the, move the helps forward. Stop! Uh, right, now Cavalino is stuck thinking, what? I just wish those helps would just get in these... Mm, the camel's not... I don't see a way to stop this. For what? It's okay. It's all good, Scratch. Don't need to be sorry. I know it was an accident. Your bands. I was just... And I don't think this is stopped. And wow, Rune, Rune is. F <sighs> These are the players that really do go far, though. It seems it doesn't matter, like. It just doesn't matter, you always find a way, and today Rune has once again found a way to go through to the semi frickin' finals. So I want to just say again, back in his group stages, the only way Rune could qualify- sorry Toasty, the only way Rune could qualify, because he lost his game, was if Toasty lost 0-2. And that's exactly what happened with Toasty. And Rune got through just, just because of someone else's result. And the whole Greg7 gang is here. Just a celebrate Rune right now, because we didn't expect Rune to to go 
even into the semi-finals. And, and this is really, really nice for Rune, who's going to be facing against BD Legend. And Cavalino, unfortunately, you know, really, really nice player, but undefeated up until today. And this, you know, is well played from both of them. This is Cavalino is going to be really, you know, you know, unfortunate for this. The start, I want to, just the start there when it was, I think it was just, I can get to the, the shore fish, I can click it because of the dock. Oh, well, they start fishing and then, then they just start, you know, <laughs> they just like, they was, they were going, it's wee, woo, wee, wee, woo, wee, woo, wee. And they just started, okay. Another funny part was... I want to go back to just this as well. Where... Room. I got stone walls here. We're good, right? We're good. We're walled up on this side. Oh no, here come the scouts. I'm going to get in. No, they're not, because we're walled. <laughs> like, oh no. And this could have been so much worse, you know, as I say, the, the scouts were getting lots of damage in. Um, I, was, I was a bit worried for Rune at this point. And fortunately, um, the TC actually took down these scouts. They only managed to get one kill, which is very fortunate, you know. Okay, and this was the, the villager which died, but like, all the others, the garrison, and, and these... Scouts went down. I was kind of like, you know, you just wonder what happens. Of course, you know, the one HP stone wall placement here, but yeah. After that, though, you know, it was just really difficult for. Really difficult because the cavalry broke through, broke in. I don't think Cavalino was just right at the right place there to defend against this. You see this damage, a lot of damage was done here. Of course, it eventually got killed, but that was eight villagers. And then, um, yeah. The rest of the game was history. Right here, you, you, I was scared because, again, room. Um, they are both hesitated. And around here was just the part where... Now... All of Rune's army is here, right? And this is so open. But then I, I looked at the composition. I was like, well, there's only camels and they, they ain't going to do much against this. Well, they will. They will eventually kill it, right? But just brought halves back there. Just nice. Because the damage was just too little. They did get one trebuchet. Of course, they were just... That was it. That was all the damage they were ever going to do. And this castle was also at the same point. The camels were gone. And then, you know... Just the momentum then were just entirely ruined. And what an absolute great game for game number three. Between Cavalino and Rune the Eternal, where Rune is going to go through to the semi-finals. And I can't wait to message him and be like, let's go Rune. As I said, like, oof, like really unfortunate by Cavalino. But no matter what happened today, it was like, all players were really fun. They all give it their, um, so I think my chat has died. I don't know if somebody's like, Someone could just message me in chat right now. I can't see it. Thanks, Twitch. Either way. <laughs> okay, I think my chat has died, okay? But don't worry, we'll just keep going. Um, yeah, either way, it was just, you know, such a good game, such a close game. And please. And unfortunately, you know, Cavalina was knocked out. Have a look at the statistics. Oh, I've seen that. I've seen the please. <laughs> yeah. Just room. Once again. Finds a way to make it through. And let me just... I wonder if I can bring up the... the... I want to bring up just Gregory the Seventh, the A group. I just want to show you guys, just like... Image file. I'm trying to do big brain things right now. Group 7A. Here we go. Right, this was the table which seen Rune go through.
Look at place number two, three, and four. All going one, two, one, two, one, two. And the rounds, three, five, three, five. And Rune just squeezing in four, five. Because before the last game, Rune lost to RDBB, two, one. And that was just down to Toasty, not to lose two nil. And in the game of Jaguarrior versus Toasty, it was huge. It was absolutely huge. It should have been like 2-1. But somehow Jaguarrior just found a way just to make it 2-0. And like... Well, this is the thing. The only, the only game Jaguarrior like, lost a round was actually against Rune. And that's the difference. Everyone else lost 2-0. And, and Rune made it through. So to get this far was just insane. You know? And then, of course, of course, right, RDBB, stop, you're ruining the storyline, <laughs> but that is true, but still, you know. <laughs> But if Turbo is all in against Jaguarrior 2-1, then, then what, right? All right, so, that's an insane story. Where it was such a, a great journey. Great players. Everyone was so amazing, everyone was so awesome. Um... There we go. So, the semi-finals. Uh, it's good to see you as well, RDBB. Good to see you around. All the Greg gang. You know, the Greg gang is here. We, we got to see quarterfinals completely. Everything will be uploaded to YouTube. We start today, Turbo Weasel versus Sator, where Turbo Weasel weaseled their way. They didn't. They had a good game. So did Sator. But Hacker Merc, again. The games are so tight. 2-1, 2-1, 1-2. 2-1, 2-1, 1-2. Um... Insane. So in the semi-finals for Greg Seven, we're gonna have Jag Warrior versus Turbo Weasel, and whew, that's gonna be a really interesting set. And then BD versus Rune. Is Rune gonna cause another upset? Because again, BD Legends, it's been very solid throughout the tournament group. Sands. Turbo disagrees with one of the statements. But here we are. We're getting ready for the semi-finals, which will be played this week, and I am so excited. Much love to each and every one of the Gregory Seven players. I never, I don't want to see any of them get eliminated. It's, it's rough, but just the nature of the beast. We're only left with four Gregory Seven, and only one can get the staff of Greg. You know, we're all fighting for the staff of Greg. So yeah, thank you all so much once again for watching the Gregory the Seventh quarterfinals and we'll be moving on now to the semi-finals of Gregory the 7th next week. Ooh.